Hey, how's it going? I'm your friendly 21 year old college dropout and I'm here today to tell you why you should drop out of college. Well, no, I'm kidding. I, I don't <laughs> I don't actually think that. I know you probably clicked on this video ready to shred me in the comments. Uh, but no, I have a very in-between thought process on it, and the purpose of today's video is to provide you guys a lot of value on the decision of whether or not you should go to college. And how I'll be structuring this is I'm going to be giving my own thoughts, so yeah, I'm personally a college dropout, and then I also have three friends who all went to college. So I have both sides of the equation. It's going to be very cool, very fun. Hopefully this will help you on your decision in the future. Let's get into it. Do you think that most people should go to college? I think not only should most people go to college, I think most people should start a community college as well. If you look at the statistics, a lot of people switch their majors within a year because they go in thinking they want to do something and end up doing another. And a majority of people start, start at schools for liberal arts degrees, which is a complete waste of your time and money. Should most people go to college? That's a kind of hard question to answer. I think the short answer is yes and no. Let me explain why yes. It's if you have a clear-cut idea of what your goals are, how to reach those goals, the steps needed, it's really easy to kind of pinpoint what you need to do in college because there's a, you can find a good community. There's a lot of opportunities. It's a great way to connect with people. Uh, likewise, if you don't have a good idea and a nice plan, and additionally, if you really are unsure about what to do, I don't think it's good to like put yourself in a situation where you're going to collect dead. Do you think most people should or should not go to college right now? Um, right now, I would say uh, probably not. Um, in my personal experience, I pay a fair amount of money to go to school and that's, you know, to get the full education, the full social benefits, and in the uh, current climate, that's clearly not uh, able to happen too much. <laughs> that's <though>. true. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I would say, especially for, for freshmen incoming, if, if you're unsure in any, um, in any sense of the word, then it's probably not best to go ahead and put yourself in a position to spend, I mean, any sort of money to maybe not get the full experience. College has become normalized. And by what I mean by that is it's more or less a trend. People feel compelled to go to college, whether or not they have things figured out. People feel compelled to pick a school, even if it means they're going to be in a lot of debt because it they don't know what else there is to do they don't feel like they have options right uh, college it's the only thing that's pushed it is the only thing that is pushed and it's the only thing that is marketed you know i think i can only speak from personal experience in high school when you reach 11th grade we don't we're not told oh well you know you can become an electrician you can become a plumber you can do anything else that they don't give you options. No. There's not a handbook that is given to you to explain what you can do without a college degree. Yeah, it's basically college or the military. It Exactly, and that is the problem. People think are basically brainwashed in a sense to believe that if they do not have a college degree, they will not amount to anything. Mm -hmm. It almost sounds like going to community college can actually get you into a better college yes. than what you could get from your high school grades. Oh, 100% of the time. I came out of high school like an 86, 87 GPA. I came out of community college with a 3.7, which is like wow. a 90, 93. Yeah. Right? So um, community college, it is so easy to. Yeah. I can't emphasize how, like, community college is great, except it's so easy to become so complacent and just you go to your classes and then that's it. You don't get involved because you just, you don't like being there. Right? I think the biggest downside to school is the structure in which uh, a lot of college campuses are um, taking these days, um, especially with increasing tuition and decreasing things um, such as like teacher salaries. So maybe the quality of the education isn't where it's always been historically. And I think that's starting to come up more and more in, um, in today's world with uh, the, the COVID issues as well um, with people starting to realize like, or at least question what's the quality of the education I'm getting. Freshman, sophomore, even a little bit of junior year, it was, it was a lot of partying and, and 
I got to a point where I realized that was, I mean, if that's taking away from, from what I actually feel, I mean, why put myself in a position where, you know, I'm hung over the next day on a, you know, Saturday even, of course. And, and basically put me, just feel like, awful. When yeah. I could be working towards something that makes me feel great. And, and again, yeah. with the content creation, if you want to be a, you know, music producer, you want to do anything. I mean, you have the ability, especially in, in the... There's never been a better time. Style. There's never been There's a better time. There's never been a better time. All right, and lastly, to end off the video, I want to give you my own opinion on whether or not you should go to college, especially in these current conditions, right? Things are all over the place. And how I see it is that if you don't know what you want to do and you have some side passion, go for it. This is the best time, hands down. We said it earlier in the video, best time. On top of that, if you are going to drop out, let's say you're a junior or a senior, well... Maybe seniors a bit weird, <laughs> but let's say you're a sophomore or a junior and you decide that you want to do something else. What I really, really recommend is you make sure you have some sort of groundwork. If you are dropping out to pursue something you have no foundation on, you have no practice in, you're just like, oh yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to become the world's fastest reader. Maybe you should reconsider. Make sure you have some groundwork. When I dropped out of college, I actually had some groundwork and for me that was such a big deal it prevented me from just getting into this lull where i did nothing every single day and so yeah i hope you guys have kind of some insight on what people who have already gone to college think about going to college and yeah times are weird right now things are all over the place but i wish you guys the best i hope to see you in the next video and of course like and subscribe peace the only else that i know is the black ops too <laughs> oh. get out get out of the way get out of the way i get the kills get out of the way how y'all been there? How y'all been there? <laughs> Very good, Matt. <laughs> Matt jokes from the back, part one. All right, uh, yeah, thank you, Ollie. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Formal handshake? You have to yeah. stare at the phone. I do. Official college handshake. I wonder how this is going to be when I get my diploma. Mm -hmm. Just kidding, COVID. All right. I'm